If you've ever been curious about what really makes a man obsess over a woman, makes him just want to be with her when she's not around, makes him think about her when she's not around, you're going to want to watch this video. I'm going to tell you exactly what to do to make a man deeply miss you. Hi, I'm Jason Silver. I'm the dating coach for ambitious women. And in this channel, Attract Great Guys, every week I go through strategies and principles about dating relationships and understanding men that will help you to find a high quality man for a lifelong committed relationship. Please do become a subscriber by hitting the red subscribe button and hitting the little notification bell so you can learn more about how to attract a man for that loving relationship that I know you deserve. Now jumping right into today's topic, this is so important to think about because when you're not with someone, when there isn't that in-person connection, it's so easy because we're so focused on what's going on in our life to be out of sight, out of mind. And when a relationship isn't growing, then it's not staying stagnant, it's actually going backwards because I believe relationship, connection, and intimacy it's like roller skating up a hill. We need to continue growing and growing because if we're not, then we're sliding backwards. So when it, you're not with someone physically, there are ways that you can make this person think about you and think about you fondly, think about you with love and with care. And the ways to do that are really by following just a few simple principles. Now making a man miss you actually begins before you ever separate. It begins when you're spending time together, whether it's in person, whether you're talking together on the phone, and there's this idea of making emotional deposits into his emotional bank account. We all have bank accounts, and people do things that help trigger us to feel good and warm, or they trigger us to feel bad or resentful. And it's important to realize and to be aware of what are you doing to make deposits into his emotional bank account? What types of things make him feel good? So when you're with someone thinking about their love languages, do they like verbal affirmation or acts of service or physical touch or quality time or gifts? What are the things that really fill them up? And making sure that when they're with you, you are doing things where you're both feeling good together. And that doesn't mean that a relationship is all about feeling good. It means that you are really focused on filling the other person up, just as they should be focused on filling you up. And when you do that, when you become someone who is making those deposits into his emotional bank account, then he's going to think about you whenever his bank account is feeling depleted and he's looking for it to be filled, he looks to you as a source of those deposits. And we should all have a partner who is a source of our emotional deposits because really that's one of the best parts about having a supportive, loving partner is someone who can be there who can help to fill you up and vice versa, you can be there to help fill them up. Now the next thing that you're going to want to do is really understand the man that you're wanting to make miss you. Are you aligned in terms of your life goals? When you're 100 and looking back at your life, do you both have an idea of what it is that you'd like to have contributed or experienced or accomplished in that time? And are they aligned? In other words, can you support him and his goals and mission and can he support you and yours? And the key is having a shared vision as well. What are things that you can do together, whether it's building a family or traveling together or serving the world in some kind of a way. And when you have that shared vision, when you're not with him, it's important to continue living that vision, to continue taking actions and doing things that are aligned with those longer term goals. You never want to be in a position where you're completely dependent on someone else for you to be fulfilled and for you to take those actions. So he should feel FOMO, which is fear of missing out because you are on that path. You are holding yourself to that standard. You are, you know, if you're if one of your shared visions is to serve your community. It's important that you continue volunteering. If it's a shared vision that, you know, he wants to have a nice home life where you're inviting friends over for dinner and you're creating community, that it's important even if he's away that you're still having people over and you're still creating community and you're still building connections. It's really important to consider these shared visions and ensure that you are continuing along that path and that way he will obviously want to be there with you because you're both aligned in your vision. And by the way, this is just a short YouTube video. If you want to go much deeper into attraction and 
and relationship building, I encourage you to click the link beneath this video and get instant access to a free training that I offer. It goes much more in depth. All you need to do is put in your email address and I will send you instant access. Check that out just by clicking the link in the description. Now, the third and final action, and, and this is very, very near and dear to my heart, and it's this idea of creating meaningful moments in your life, regardless of whether he is there, actively present, or he's away. And when you are actually designing meaningful moments in your life and experiencing them, it makes you this magnetic, attractive person to be around. And I promise you that a man will miss you when he knows that you're the type of woman who is designing and experiencing these meaningful moments. Now, I first learned about this by a man named John Coyle, who studies slowing down time and creating meaningful moments that we look back at that make our life seem much more filled with epic, meaningful experiences rather than just living life of full, mundane, boring, monotonous activities that make us go through an entire year and we look back and we're like, where did the time go? I just, I, I don't know, it just felt like it flew. But if we can actually design these moments into our life, it makes us feel almost like, wow, I've, I've done so much, I've accomplished so much, I've experienced so much. And if you're someone who is proactive in, in actually creating these moments in your life, I promise you that not only will a man miss you, but you will become this magnetic woman that men wanna chase. It's a very powerful thing. And it doesn't have to be as big as you think to design a meaningful moment, but there's five characteristics that John Coyle talks about that create this moment of meaning. And he calls them these event horizon moments, which really could be anything. The first trait or characteristic of a event horizon moment is that it's unique. It's a first time experience, like the first time you hiked a mountain, the first time you saw the ocean, the first time you traveled to another country, uh, the first time you let go of your kid's seat as they were riding their bicycle and they, they rode their bike alone for their first time. Those moments which are, are unique once in a lifetime moments. If you can try to think of something that's different, unique, that you can only experience once, that is one trait. Another is that it's beautiful, that the environment around you, what you are, are seeing in terms of the nature or the space that you're in, there's some sense of beauty. The next is that there is a, a physical intensity, that there's something that you're doing physically that pushes your body. And next, there's an emotional intensity. And John actually says this, it's actually a little bit scary. He says, if the risk isn't so great that you would cry if you failed, then you're not risking enough. Now, that might be a little bit extreme, but it gives you an idea of how you can try to design these real epic moments. And finally, doing something that puts you in flow state, meaning you're not doing something that's so beyond your skill set, but you're doing something that is actually requiring your undivided attention that when you're in it, you're so focused on it that you don't even think about time. It, time flies in that moment because you're so focused. And it could be when you're listening or playing music or meditating or rock climbing or racing your bike or just hiking in nature and you lose yourself in that moment, you're in flow. And if you can, Think about different meaningful moments that you can design in your own life when your man is away or even when he's there. You know, I was just thinking it doesn't have to be the most epic thing. Just a few weekends ago, we had a friend that invited, uh, family friends that invited my family to go to an indoor water park. We drove like 45 minutes to an hour and we spent the night at this little water park resort and my kids loved it because it was the first time as a family that we stayed at a hotel like this. And that for me was an event horizon moment. I, I most likely will never forget that experience because there were so many firsts and it was really epic. And if you can find ways to design your life and design these moments in your life, I promise you that he will not only miss you, but you will feel more fulfilled, more excited and attract a much higher quality person into your life. So if you found this video helpful, please do hit the thumbs up button and like it so it can be seen by more people. Leave a comment. Let me know what event horizon moments you have designed or had in your life and what that really meant to you and how you might even design some more of those types of experiences. Let's brainstorm together. I would love to do that in the comments section. So thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take good care.